wagwan guys welcome back to another video as you see today we are doing some potato pudding so let's get right into the video here we have everything ready on our station guys i'll already go ahead and grate the sweet potato to let the video a little bit shorter and i have two sweet potato there i have my fresh juice coconut milk yes guys and i have my vanilla essence so I will be adding that to my coconut milk and I also have my brown sugar here and I will also add in that to my coconut milk too. So I am adding my sugar to the coconut milk to, so it could dissolve a little bit faster. So that's what I'm going to do. So yes guys, this is my style of doing my sweet potato pudding and I hope you guys enjoy. And you know, back in the days when grandma and grandpa used to say, Come, we're gonna dig some coke, some sweet potato, because you know, I'm from the country area, so you know, we know about digging potato and them thing there. And then them say, Yeah, we're gonna do some Ella top, Ella bottom, and Hallelujah in the middle. Hey, guys, I'm telling you, when you hear about Ella top, Ella bottom, and Hallelujah in the middle, my whole entire stomach get excited. Guess what? Because I love sweet potato pudding, especially when it's a little bit moist on the top and inside and then you have the little burn side and yeah let me stop that because me, me I get hungry yeah so here we have our sugar dissolve out in our coconut milk with vanilla essence here we have some all-purpose flour so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add my allspice my cinnamon powder and my nutmeg in so I'm gonna save that Then I'm going to go in with my cornmeal. So you're going to be using the refined cornmeal. And then we're going to sieve that in with the flour and everything. So yes, guys. So, and then we're going to be adding a little pinch of salt. Don't forget to add your salt. Yes. Then we're gonna we're gonna actually mix everything, combine all the the spices, the flour, the cornmeal, the salt, and let everything just lock in. So here we have our butter melted. So we're gonna add that to our mixture with coconut milk, vanilla essence. So we're gonna add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. So this is my style, my version of how I do my potato pudding. So we're gonna make sure we lock in everything, all the spices, all the herbs, all the, oh, the coconut milk, the vanilla essence, the sugar, the nice brown sugar. Yes, guys, so lock in everything and let's, let's get the ball rolling. I'm not using any mixer like you guys use. I am using my hands, yeah, rubbing, build up the muscle. Yes, guys. So you cut and fold, yes, rub it in, put it in the pot. Hey, this just bring me back, right back in my grandmother's kitchen and my mother and, you know, my siblings. That texture I'm looking for. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to add my coconut, my sweet potato, and I also add some of the coconut trash to it. So when you grate the coconut and juice it out, I add a little bit of that in it. Yes, just a little twist to it my grandma used to do that my mom used to do it so all time something come back again yeah oh yes that looks so nice look at that texture guys i'm gonna be using yes and then i will be adding the rest of my sweet potato here guys you can add yam yellow yam to and you can add many different things in your sweet potato pudding but I am going the old school way you know my way my version of my sweet potato pudding and I do hope you guys enjoy so you know this is the time this is the season for potato pudding and all different kind of things because it's coming up to Thanksgiving here in Canada and it's soon to be Thanksgiving in America and the Jamaicans overall use so now guys this is the twist I add a little bit of red wine to my my pudding when I'm baking it you can add a little bit of white rum any wine you prefer 
but I love the red wine so I add a little bit of red wine to it to give it that buzz that vibe yes so I'm gonna lock that in and make sure all the spices and everything combine together and then my oven is already um, preheated at 355 at 350 and I will be baking my pudding for one hour and 30 minutes one hour and 30 minutes to one hour and 45 minutes so guys thank you guys so much and i really appreciate the love and the support from all of you from my jamaicans my canadians my american followers my filipino family guys i love you guys so much thank you for your support thank you for always being there for me thank you to all the person that always like encourage me not to give up and always press on yes and to all the persons that i look up to during this journey thank you for always being there for me you know i have my team thanks to my team stop bubbling pals <laughs> guys look at all this niceness look look wow so now i have my two um baking can here they're already greased with butter so i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna my mixture oh i could eat this right now honestly who oh, raise your hand in the comment section if you used to take the bowl away from your grandparents or your parents and just scrape out all the leaf back in there so i eat it i used to do it i am guilty <laughs> so here yes look at all this niceness so i'm gonna leave it here to set a little bit and then i will be placing them in the oven Mm -mm. Yum, yum, yummy to my tummy. Yay! So now, guys, it's ready! Yes, it's ready. So now we add, um, see all this niceness in there, so. So guys, now we're going to be adding, once we remove it from the oven, we add our toppings, we're our mixture. So I had my coconut mixture. So this is my sauce that I use on top of it. So this is my special thing. Something that I, you know, whipped up. Just own your own skills, own your own craft. Be, you know, be creative in the kitchen when you're doing anything. You don't have to you know just do you and I tell you the result will be amazing so this is some amazing potato put sweet potato pudding so I will be adding back this into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes and then when we come back the pudding will be ready the pudding the pudding the pudding will be ready yay 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 so I'm gonna be having this with some tea or you can have it with some some french vanilla ice cream um whatever you choose to have it with but i do hope you guys enjoy this niceness ella top ella bottom and alleluia in the middle yes i wish i could do it like this but now i'm gonna leave it here to cool for two hours and then voila so guys please remember to like comment subscribe and share live good love good and remember be kind to one another and appreciate the good things that you have in life and appreciate each other and remember i can do all things through christ who strengthened me be proud of who you are and guys please remember to follow my my next page that's pals island pals smoothie world and more Holy and niceness coming soon over there. All different kind of things, cooking, smoothies, the whole works. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and feel free to comment in the comment section what you would like to see me prepare next time. But for next time, see you guys. Love you. Be safe. Peace out. Mm. I can't even get over that. Look at all this nice, nice, juicy.
Oh, Lord. Mm. Yes. 